Breaking Bagram, part two. Going up to the sniper tower, making your way up there. So, uh, over the summer, a free game came out for Steam called Alien Swarm. And the only reason I'm bringing it up is because, uh, well, it was free, but they did something with ammo that you never see in games, but that I always kind of think of as unrealistic and I know it's a video game so it's not gonna be realistic but mm -hmm. it's um, you know they strive for accuracy in you're talking games. about alien swarm or Medal of honor right now I'm talking about alien swarm did something with ammo that's unrealistic that is that seems much more realistic than okay I'll just fucking say it um, in alien swarm if you reload with 10 bullets left in your clip or in your magazine, it's gone. Right. Yeah, I've thought about that. And it it took no time at all to adapt to that. Like you think it's real, you wouldn't your magazines, you're not like moving bullets over the next magazine. Right, exactly. Um the and the reason I'm bringing that up is because when I think about oh why they don't do something like that in the next Call of Duty or in this game. On all, all these games, I want to be realistic shooters, and you know, on all the Medal of Honor commercials, they bring in the, they, they brought in the Spec Ops dudes and gave them that crazy voice modulation that says, you know, you know, I, I killed 50 people in Afghanistan and uh, I helped create this game. <laughs> like, they they brought those dudes in for the commercials and supposedly to help consult on making this game. Yeah. So why, why don't they just do that ammo thing? Like, it seems like it's such a simple thing. In an alien swarm, it was so unbelievably fast to adapt to that pretty major change in gameplay. Because every first-person shooter does it the Medal of Honor way. Yeah. The Call of Duty way. The pro probably way. Doom way. Yeah. You know? Um, where if you have... If you shoot one bullet and you reload, you don't lose the other 29 bullets. That were in that clip you just threw on the ground. Yeah. And, oh, I... We've said clip and we've said magazine, and I know that someone's gonna correct me because they're different, and I don't really know a lot about banana it. clip. What? <laughs> no, I I know I've made this mistake before. And I don't remember what the correct terminology is for. I'm pretty sure clips in a handgun and magazines are in machine guns. Really? No, <laughs> I have no confidence. In okay, that well, see, that's why I'm saying that right now because I know that I'm wrong, and I really don't know much about guns. Um, but anyway, run to this opposite yeah. side of the thing. Run over here. There's going to be uh, the Dragonov on the ground, and there's a bunch of dudes up above. So just get a whole bunch of headshots in a row, and you can probably stop the clock for a good 10 seconds. You just keep getting headshots. They give you bonuses for uh, hitting multiple headshots in a row, so it's definitely worth your time to uh, like line up those headshots perfectly. Very nice. And, and it's not even necessarily like a multi-kill, the way that Halo gives you a bonus for getting multiple headshots quickly. It's just, you just have to get multiple headshots in a row. Nice. So, you know, time is not the issue. So swap the dragon off back out for your other gun before we go running in. And now this is the part that I mentioned earlier where you're just going up to the top of this air traffic control uh, tower. And uh, your teammates will do a lot of uh, aggressive moves in this. There's a lot of dudes close quarters, so don't get yourself killed here, because it can be very easy to get killed if you really like push forward. Yeah. There's definitely a game besides Alien Swarm that does the ammo like that. Really? I can't think of what it was, but I know it's happened to me. Mm -hmm. And I've been like, where is all my ammo going? Yeah, it, it takes <laughs> you a minute to realize it, but as soon as you get it, you're like, yeah. oh. I kind of like this. Or it's this is more realistic. It's 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 not even that like, oh, I kind of like this. It's just different. And I I like different. I like the change. I like the small changes in gameplay unless that separate this unless from it's a stupid change. Unless it's a stupid change, but that's not a stupid change. That's just like, oh, okay, well that makes sense. Yeah. In the real world. Yeah. I mean Yeah, so uh, a little trick right here, just shoot out these windows, there's going to be a couple dudes through there. Uh, your teammates are going to kick down that door and then throw a grenade, but you can actually uh, shoot them through the window before they even do that to get a couple extra kills to stop the clock for a couple extra seconds. 
if you're running close on time. But as you can see, I'm five minutes away, six minutes away from the end of the video, and I got I'm halfway through the allotted time. Yeah, 15 of 30 minutes, kind of ridiculous. Um, Would you have preferred it to be harder for time? I don't know. I think it's fair to give you more time if uh, you know you can't die. But it's not a like the time isn't even a challenge at all. It's completely insignificant. Yeah. It doesn't affect. It affects how you play until you realize that it do, it shouldn't affect how you play. Yeah. Like you have more than enough time to kill every single enemy on the level with a pistol. Instead of a, maybe you should have done that. I, maybe I should have done that. If there was an achievement for doing that, I would have done that. So yeah, my teammates got kind of stuck right there. I'm waiting for them to push forward, but they're stupid though. Being little Nancys. Mm -hmm. yeah, just walk up to that door. They'll eventually understand what's going on. I don't like how your uh, teammates are dressed as like Arabs. Yes. I've shot them so many yeah. times. Me too. Me. But you know, I've never died from shooting. That guy them. was giving me an evil look. He was giving me a <laughs> terrible. He was eyeballing me there. Yeah, your teammates aren't that friendly. No, they're not. Considering that we're all on the same team and killing bad guys together, yeah. you think that they'd be a little bit more uh, chummy yeah. towards each other. But no, like. On one of those levels coming up where, like... Yeah, I saved your ass. Yeah, Don't I saved your ass. It. Don't forget. Yeah. Well. <laughs> God, I keep feeling like I'm repeating myself, and then i got to remember I'm abandoning the other part of the guide. Yeah. Because we talked about this exact same thing. Oh, yeah, wow. we could talk about the same things. So that was... was so that, that's, that that's a little bit of foreshadowing. gun in his mouth? I don't know where he put his gun, but he had a, a hatchet in his back pocket. And that hatchet comes... Go. What's that guy's name? Insane. Hatchet. Insano? <laughs> <laughs> mother? I don't know. No, it's There's not mother. Weird... I, I don't know. But that dude... Oh, uh... Voodoo. Voodoo's the one with the hatchet. Oh, yeah. That that hatchet shows up again later in the, in the game, so remember that. Because <laughs> you see a hatchet and you're like, oh no, they've captured the dude with the hatchet. So do you use all the different gun types here, or I a favorite? I kind of do. I, I Okay, so there's the Hellfire missiles, that's like a lock-on missile. Uh, the Gao, uh, someone sent us an email, I think, talking about that gun, the Gao 8. Uh, it's like a line of... Yeah, it's like a strafing machine gun attack. And I, I, I like to use those for the cars, because there's usually multiple cars, multiple trucks in a row, and you can you, take out you a couple the of them at once. For killing two cars at once. Oh, really? I didn't realize. I that's, forgot that's about that That's this one. level's achievement. Oh, cool. Well... Uh, I did it with the... Uh, because the Hellfire, you can only fire one at a time, and there's kind of a long recharge. I like to use the Gal for the the trucks. And then when the tanks come, uh, I use the laser-guided... Or no, the self-guided missiles. I don't remember what they're called, but yeah, there's one that you can kind of control. With. Oh, okay. And uh, I you just don't use have the too much control of those things. No. Like you're like pushing it all the way over, mm -hmm. and you're like, okay, that moved it like six feet, maybe. Um, I use the Hellfire if I like hit one truck with the strafing run. The Longbow Hellfire, that's what the. No, 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 the GR, the 2,000 pound laser gun bomb, the GBU. Oh, that's. I think that's actually what you have to do with the achievement. Oh, okay. I should probably have the achievement list open right now. Um, I'll just tell you that's what it is. Okay. So. Yeah, you don't have to directly hit the tanks. Because it's a huge missile. Right. So, like, you'll see that there'll be two or three tanks in a row, and if you just get the um, the 2,000-pound bomb to drop between the two tanks, you should be able to take them both out at once. And get the achievement. Right. Or, I mean, I'm just talking about being the level, not necessarily the achievement. Like, you don't have to hit each tank individually. You don't have to worry about those guys shooting rockets, do you? On the ones on the ground? Yeah. No. Um, if any of the just trucks get too close or the tanks vehicles. get too close, those will kill you. If you feel like you've missed one, hitting uh, up on the D-pad will remark all the targets on the map. So do that frequently if you uh, if you feel like you're getting overwhelmed and you're looking for targets to hit. Because it can be easy to kind of lose the trucks or the tanks because they're uh, not like particularly well camouflaged, but it's so it, it can be tough to 
quickly navigate this map and find enemies that are shooting at you. So yeah, hitting up on the D-pad will remark them on your map. Yeah, and just take out the last couple dudes. And that is the end of the mission. I gotta pee.